Hello, friends, and welcome to Words of Encouragement. Coming from Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia, and there's just not a better place to find a word of encouragement than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Let me invite you today to pick up your copy of God's Word, the precious Holy Bible. Turn with me to the Gospel of Luke. Today I want us to look at Luke 22, beginning with verse number 41, and we'll look at verse 42. Listen to what the Bible says here. And he, the Lord Jesus, was withdrawn from them about a stone's cast, and kneeled down and prayed, saying, Father... If thou be willing, remove this cup from me, nevertheless, now listen to this, nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. And friend, I pray that God will add his blessings to the reading of that holy and precious word today. Today, friend, I want to bring to you a devotion that I've titled God's Will. Friends, listen, all of life is made up of two classes of people. Now, in our society today, we'll say we've got the upper class, the middle class, and the lower class, but really and truly, life is made up of two classes of people. There are those who follow Satan and are like the devil himself. In fact, Isaiah gives 14 uh, reaccounts of Satan's rebellion against Almighty God. Five times Lucifer said, I will. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, he said. I will sit on the north side, he said. I will be like the Most High, he said. I will, I will, I will. That's just a way of life for some. Lucifer was saying to God the Father, not your will be done, God, but my will be done. My friend, there are many people like this in this old sinful world today. They'll hear the gospel, but they'll say, no, it's my life, and I'm going to live it my way. I'm not going to yield to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. I'm not going to submit myself to him. Not your will be done, God, but my will be done. But then there's another class of people. There are those who say yes to Jesus, just as Jesus said in the Garden of Gethsemane, not my will, Father, but thy will be done. Each of us is either saying yes to self and no to God, or no to self and yes to God. C.S. Lewis said, all that are in hell choose to be in hell. Without that self-choice, there could be no hell. No soul that seriously and constantly desires joy will ever miss that. Those who seek the Lord find him. Those who knock, my friend, to them it is open. I like what J. Vernon McGee said in his book. He said, there are two classes of people in this world, the saints and the ain'ts. And then he said, you're either a saint of God or you ain't. My friend, Jesus is waiting to love you with open arms. He still says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Are you following self-will or God's will? God's will is much better. Yield to him today. Pray with me. Father, we thank you for this powerful devotion, and we pray that you'll use it for your glory. May God, we always seek your will and not ours. Thy will be done in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friend, I pray the devotion's been a blessing to you today and that it's reached into your life. And I pray that you're a saint of God. Uh, you're a saint or you ain't. That's what J. Vernon McGee said. But God certainly wants to make the ain'ts saints, and he'll do that if you'll come to the Lord Jesus. Friend, let your life be the Bible that some reads. Let them hear and see Jesus in what you say and in what you do. God bless you, and you have a wonderful day.